just out of this world. What's going on there? And so then I had this idea, you know, in my mind. Well, I'm not going to fake it because I don't want to be a hypocrite. <laughs> so, you know, of course, I was reasoning in the flesh. I'm not going to fake it, Lord. So I'm not going to worship if I don't feel like it. And so this went on for, I don't know, several months. And then finally, you know, at one service, I again made my announcement to the Lord. Lord, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I'm not going to, you know, pretend to worship and sing and stuff. And the Lord spoke to me very clearly. He said, you don't worship me because you feel like it. You worship me because I'm worthy. And I, and I thought, oh my goodness, I've missed it. See, I was letting my flesh lead the way instead of letting my spirit lead the way, which wanted to worship. And so I, so I, I just stepped into that by faith. I said, yes, Lord, I'm going to worship. So I just, I just started worshiping. It felt like I was lying to God for about the first 20 minutes. But then after about 20 minutes, it felt like chains were dropping off me. And then all of a sudden, I did mean it. And I was experiencing it. See, but the spirit man had, we have to let the spirit man lead. Don't let the flesh lead in the things of the kingdom. It's not going to happen. It's not going to break open for us if the flesh is, is constantly hindering us. So, worship.